so we're back again today with another build this one is an actual motorcycle as you can see cbr 300r little beginner bike sport bike uh bought it for 1200 it does it run by itself but if you spray starter fluid in it it runs um it's been wrecked on this right side it's got minor scuffs and scratches this is actually tape we figured that out the other day but you know minor scuffs and scratches here and there a small hole here uh front uh cow is broken but i did hear it run while we were there on starting fluid i'll see if i can't get it to run and show y'all and this is broke too so it's got a dent in the gas tank here so partially why the bike won't run by itself is there's rust in the gas tank i don't know how good you can see that there but see if i can't there you go you can kind of see it when i block the sun there's big chunks up top but with the dent in the gas tank it makes me want to uh just replace it but i don't know yet whether we'll replace it or not it's a 2016 it's got the title i don't exactly know what this color scheme is i just call it yellow but it's very pretty in person well i saw the pictures it was it looked good but in person it looks even better so let's take this thing in the garage and then i'll uh see if i can't show you what it does all right got it to the garage i'm going to show you real quick that it does start uh listen for the fuel pump it doesn't sound the best probably because of all the rust and the minimal amount of gas but everything up here seems to work so see it kind of makes a little grinding sound but it turns over good now let me show you that it runs with some starting fluid So I have high hopes for this. It doesn't have any noise in the engine. It's a little dirty, but it can't it can't need much. There's no way. So I think the first step is gonna be to take this tank off. Kenza made a good point because I, I thought about replacing this tank and I was just gonna fix this tank with you know getting all the rust out, but if I'm just gonna replace it, there's no reason to fix it. So I'm going to try to just see if I can get the fuel pump to feed off of a custom tank in a sense to see if it'll run off of that. If so, I'll try to see my options whether to repair this one or buy a new one or buy a used new one. But let's, uh, I think I might have to pull this fairing off, but maybe not. So let me, let's get this tank off. This thing is dirty. I had fuel spill out of this line just a second ago, and that's what all this is. It's just gunk and rust. I'll, we're going to look here inside the tank in just a second, but yeah, it's not necessarily looking bad, but it ain't looking good. Hoping we don't have to buy an assembly or nothing. We can just kind of, you know, this tank's really not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's bad, but it's not... Oh, well, what is that? There's something down in there. Looks like a fuel gauge sensor thing, but I think it's broke. See, I mean, it's, it's dirty. The fuel is really dirty. And it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I'm trying to pull that right so you can see it a little better deeper in, but it's not that bad. That little fuel thing I'm talking about just bobbing here that little black piece i don't think it's attached to anything though but we, we need to get this gas out of here all right tank is not perfect it's a little bit more rusty than i thought but i got all the big stuff off and as much little stuff as i could with just a water hose and whatnot i got all the water out you know as much as i could wiped it did whatever ultrasonic cleaner uh on 
this thing, I actually don't know what this is. I don't know the name of it. Uh, and on the fuel pump here. Uh, another thing, the float did break off of this. And I don't know how to solder. Not that I don't know how. I don't have the abilities to. But we can still put this together and just see if maybe it'll run on what we got here. If not, we may have to look into the injectors. But I can about bet it might run. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to put this back together and then I'll bring it back when we try to fire it up. So we hooked everything up and it didn't work. Go figure. But the fuel pump and everything didn't prime. But it worked before, I feel like. So it, something made noise. And I had to buy a new fuel pump anyway because, you know, the thing was broken. So we bought one. Uh, I did buy it off Amazon just to, one, save a little bit of money. Yes, it may not be the best because it's not OEM or whatever. I don't normally buy stuff off Amazon that would go on something like this, but the price difference is uh, substantial. So we're going to hook this up here in just a second and then hope that this works. I've also bought a fuel injector tester and I tested the fuel injector for it and it makes noise, it, it, it gets flow, all that. So let's see what we got here in a few minutes hopefully here's our fuel pump it looks the looks identical other than being white instead of rusted so i mean that's a good thing you see here this is attached and all that good stuff so i guess we'll see what this does hopefully it works i think everything's hooked up i got the fuel line on got the little connector thingy the, the plug or whatever it's called let's see what happens when I turn the key on that's a fuel pump priming gas gauge shows will she fire up because a little bit of water might still be in the tank and probably a little bit of rust. Still on the fence on getting a new tank because is it worth another say 500 bucks? I don't know. But it does run now. So I may clean this tank a bit more to try to get more stuff flushed out so we know it runs right and then go from there this dent's not terrible the paint chipping i'm not a fan of i could try to paint match it and i may still i don't know but it runs that's crazy <laughs> and work on this tank a little bit more that way we know it, it idles like it's supposed to so I'm gonna bring you back for a quick update here uh, I forgot to record it mainly because I was excited so I think what we're gonna do is not replace the tank because it would be more beneficial for our budget to not and just to clean it and seal it again so 
what I did was I went to Walmart this morning when I got off work and I got a bunch of vinegar. So this time I only put like, where's that bottle at? Right here. I only put uh, two quarts of vinegar in here and I put these, these bolts or these nuts in there and I just shook it. I shook it like crazy for a little bit. And this is what the tank looks like now. Let me get the camera positioned. Much, much better. You can't see the full extent of it. You know, uh, pull back like this, but so, so much better than what it was before. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put roughly three and a half gallons of vinegar in here and just let it sit overnight while I go to work. Hopefully that'll clean out pretty much the rest of it. And then I've got some muriatic acid to finish off whatever little crummies don't come out. I know I gotta get that out pretty quick and then clean it out real good and then we'll seal it. And hopefully that's all we have to do. But I'm gonna fill this up now and uh, I'll bring you back when I dump it out. It probably won't look as bad as it did a minute ago. It was, it was like brown, truly brown. It was awesome. It was like chocolate ice cream, but runny. I just came back to show you real quick all the rust that came out of that gas tank the first time. You can see here some of those real big pieces that have started like disintegrating all that dark brown color. We'll see what comes out tomorrow. Yeah, pretty dirty. So we're gonna dump this and then see what uh see what's left. And if you just stand it up, I'll just dump it. Still a good bit. There's a bunch of chunks running. Still a good bit. Mmm. Look at all that. Turn that camera, can Get closer. I know that reflection is killing it, but watch out. Oh, look at it. Whenever I shake it. You probably can't hear it on camera. I can hear a bunch of it just sifting around in there. So I think this method works better than I thought it would. If I had to put all this in a, in a bucket, I gotta show you. Hear it? It's not like sand. Hit me uh, that hose. We'll siphon the rest out and then take a look. All right, I must say I'm very impressed. The camera's not gonna do it justice with this light. Let's see if I can get the camera. There may be a bit back there. good you can see all that but all around it's very clean that was just one round that was roughly 24 hours of just soaking uh i have muriatic acid that people have also said to use swish it around for about a minute rinse it out very good with dish soap and everything and then let it dry and seal the tank uh I'm gonna do a bit of research in a minute, figure out what tank sealer I wanna use, and then we'll uh, we'll go with the muriatic acid. I don't exactly remember where the last place we left off on this bike was. Uh, I believe it was clean in the tank, so everything is clean, it's rust free. Put the muriatic acid in it, swished it around, and it was a perfect tank again. Any little specks of like surface rust, totally gone. Totally perfect tank. But it still ran like garbage. Don't know why, whatever, you know, it did the high idle thing. If I, if I didn't get it on video, I'll insert a clip now. But I, uh, I started unplugging a few things to try to figure out what it was. Some things made it die out, some things made no difference, yada yada. Oh, so as I was doing that, I dropped the tank. 
small dent here. It's got a dent over here, you know, you know. Tank's gonna be about four or five hundred dollars. It's not in the budget, so we're just gonna leave the tank how it is. If it never sails, then I'll look into getting a tank. But until then, I'm not gonna worry about it. So when it fell, it broke the fuel pump um uh, feeder line, the one that goes directly to the fuel injector. It broke that off. And while I was doing some testing, I broke the idle air control valve or whatever it's called. Either way, I bought a used one on eBay. It was like 50 bucks. I also unplugged the battery. That was a suggestion from my supervisor and I unplugged this. And I think that's the ECM. I'm not 100% sure. But I did unplug this. And I let it sit a few, probably about 15, 20 minutes with the battery unplugged. Flip the key on, flip some switches, try to get all the Try to get everything drained, but it idles good now. It idles actually perfect. So with that being said, the next step is going to be to order the front cowl here. And then there's, you know, a couple scuffs on these side plastics that I really think I can very lightly sand with some really fine uh, sandpaper and they'll come out and it'd be basically done. So I'm going to get the front cowl ordered up and I think it needs an exhaust uh, gasket or whatever. But after that, we'll be almost done with this bike. <clears throat> so there they are side by side. You can see this one's broke here, and then it's got a crack right there. Really hard to see. It's cracked here, and then on the back side, it's got a crack tab here, and maybe one other place. I thought some other stuff fell, but could have just been pieces from here, I guess. So we're gonna get this windshield off here, put install it onto this one, and then we'll install everything back together. Uh, I decided. I'm not going to worry about any of these scuffs here because when I go to sell it, taking these off, it's not going to increase the value. It's really not going to decrease it anymore because of this dent here and this one here. So I think I'm just going to cost myself less work and not worry about these. So here's the CBR all put back together. It's still a little bit dirty. I haven't washed it, but the front fairing and stuff's on. So. We got one more thing to do before we can go and ride this bike, and it's to get this front end aligned. It's slightly off, so that wheel's straight, but the handlebars are barely turned this way. Uh, we're gonna try to loosen this bolt here on this fork, and the same thing on this side, and we'll try to pump the bike up and down. If that don't work, we'll try twisting the handlebars while holding the wheel in place. Fork bolts are loose. Shorts are not the way to do this. <laughs> This is feels awkward and short. This is how we did another bike that my buddy Rick. Try to roll it. And do it. Closer. Go a little bit more. May have to. Hold it and turn it. All right, so we're here for the first ride on the CBR 300R. Uh, so far, leaving the driveway, whatnot, it's doing great, actually. <laughs> it's actually pretty comfortable. You know, it's very beginner ergonomically. I can feel it. I'm a, I'm a touch leaned over, you know, like you're supposed to be, but it's nothing like a, a real sport bike would be. I am in, I think it has six gears, so I would be in sixth right now. I don't know how accurate the speedometer is. Uh, we'll hopefully figure that out, but I don't know, probably not. But so far, this bike feels really good. Seems like it's got enough power. We're going to go get gas first because 
uh, it's got one bar and that was just what I put in it you know doing testing and I filled it just a little bit more before I left the house but it seems to be handling everything so far turn my music down try to hear the revs I mean I know it's at 5,000 but I don't know if that's a lot or a little uh, we're not gonna spend too long out here uh, I'm also gonna have a I don't exactly know what I'm gonna call it yet but basically a dirt dive for this motorcycle it's not gonna be called a dirt dive obviously oh go ahead and downshift that it's not gonna be called a dirt dive I don't exactly know what I'm gonna call it yet but that'll be a little bit longer of a ride and whatnot so I'm gonna kind of save the long ride for that but we will go fill it up with gas and then uh, ride it around for a bit not not a whole long time but a little bit oh yeah even with that stock exhaust it sounds decent like it's not terrible it's very quiet with the stock exhaust though i will say that it's also uh it's a it's a different field than my fz09 so it's hard for me to shift because my fz09 shifts like a dirt bike so like my foot's straight for this bike i have to put my foot like at an angle to get under the shifter and pull up so it's a bit weird <laughs> but yeah it definitely has the sport bike ergonomic feel uh it's a 300 it don't have you know the extreme power or anything but it's it's got the similar ergonomics i guess you would call it i mean it is the baby version wanted to see how it yeah I mean it it's pretty solid it feels weird me riding this because I'm not used to the the clip-on style handlebars like the turning's the exact same but it's like different because they're like a different style It probably definitely does not have the sport bike power curve that's for sure I don't know for sure we'll figure that more out on the uh, the uh, dirt dive for the road whatever that's gonna be called and you know some people stop on train tracks I know better no nah, I'm not gonna do that I was gonna go up beside him but I'll wait Definitely not pulling out in front of any of these cars. <laughs> not on this bike. <laughs> this would probably be a very good commuter bike. I don't trust anybody with a turn signal. Dude, a lot of traffic. Come on, truck. Come on, truck. Uh, the, the front end is definitely still not aligned I'll have to go back and adjust that some more I can feel it I, I wonder if maybe that's why it's handling a touch odd that's the only thing I could think of because it, it does feel a bit off I may go back and do that after we get gas see if I can't get it a little bit more straight
Yeah, it's definitely got 300 power. <laughs> I couldn't have done that on my bike without exceeding the speed limit severely. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Back uh, a few years back, probably now, I had a uh, XT225, so I know a very similar power, and it's it's honestly amazing. <laughs> Because it's like you can ride this bike as aggressive as you want, pretty much, and you'll never, uh, you'll never, uh, what's it called? Sorry, that car almost killed me. Almost killed me. Uh, you'll never break the law, speed wise. Like, you can ride it super aggressive and have no issue. It's so fun. It's kind of like the Honda Groms. Never had one of those, I've always wanted one. Like, you can on this bike, but it's also, like, most most roads are, like, 45, 50, I would say. Unless you're, like, in town. Like, this is 35. I'm doing 40. But once you get to, like, 50, 45, 50 mile an hour roads, like, you can kind of just run this bike. You want to not pull out in front of me? That's awesome. Thank you. This thing is freaking sweet, though. But I'm probably going to go home and adjust, or let me rephrase that, I'm going to go home and I'm going to adjust the uh, handlebars a little bit more, or try to, before the uh, dirt dive, or I guess I'm going to call it road report, but I don't know if that's going to be the official name for it. So once that video comes out, then you'll know the official name, but I guess I can ride around for another minute just to get a little bit more footage for this 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 video here because i am trying to go do the uh road report today <clears throat> i gotta adjust these mirrors a little bit more too i think this one's falling out of place i think this one was loose whenever i moved it earlier We'll go up here to this uh, bridge and then we'll turn around after that and I'll just come back. That way I can have time to still go out and do what I need to on this, uh, this video. Let's get us a nice run real quick because of this car in front of us. Like I was fully pinned right there. <laughs> I was full pinned on the throttle <laughs> and I still only did 60. <laughs> oh, little bikes are so much fun. I'm going to go do the road report here in just a few minutes, and I'm going to end this video here. If uh, you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. You know, let me know what you think this bike's worth in this condition. What would you buy yours for if you have one? You know, are you looking at one, something similar? But, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.